<clears throat> it's nice, you can freeze them. They freeze a lot faster when you go home. Like in Nebraska, legally to transport any deer or anything out of state, take it to your tax room. It's got to be skin, yep, skin off the head, no brain matter. Really? Yep. CWD is what they're worried about. Look at those teeth are wore down in this thing. When I shot, I had a crap load of fat on him. Like he was fat. <laughs> be sweet if there was some food around here. Yeah. Like off alpha field or something. Yeah. Oh, my Justin, yes, there's one south of town. In my tote up in the front. Farmer, that's all he does is alfalfa. Mm -hmm. You gotta see the antelope on his place. They have nutrition. These guys, these guys are just kind of living off the grass. These guys just live off of Extra horn, a horn there. Justin, what That's what we've been doing. Put the back straps in a bag. And put my name on them then. <laughs> he's not falling for that. I know, he's been giving me crap all morning. <laughs> you shot 17 times and pulled a feather yet. <laughs> Did kill a coyote. Well, as soon as you guys get done here, I want you guys to go sit in the corner and think about your actions too. <laughs> <laughs> Shit keeps up, you'll go to bed without dinner too. This is what sucks about antelope, see how that skin mm -hmm. is all attached. You gotta go through and cut all that first. On YouTube. <laughs> Take some of your profits. I wish, man. Channels don't get crap. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Anything I can. There you go. I'm All a man right. of many trades. Clean restrooms. Do whatever I can to, so I can go hunting. Jack of all trades, master of none. That's kind of me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do what? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't stay in there anymore for a reason. Last time we were here, it was really, really, really bad. I was a little skeptical too, but it, it's not bad this it's year. It's not bad, no. And it's cool. So. The lady was out here last week, first of last week. She cleaned both houses. I don't know why she cleaned that one over there. You guys staying in town? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know the answer to that one. Do what? We'll take them and throw them out here. We'll Pretty sure he scanned that a little here. bit faster than we did. <laughs> I can do uh, Nebraska deer in about 20 minutes. On the antelope, you gotta be real careful because their hair will come out a lot faster, right? Yes. I heard it's really tricky. You know, and the reason it does that is, is because that the way their hair, they have a really big hair, like <laughs> blade or like their hair is big, but the follicle where it attaches to the skin is really small. So it slips easy. And then their hair is actually hollow. So like you get any blood on this and over time, like if you would, like I'll rinse that off. You can see how that's blood like that. It will suck that inside that hair and you'll never get it out. No. You don't have to paint it or, you know, on the white you can bleach it.
people always mess up right here. Put your finger in there. Don't cut your finger, you won't cut your eye. Or you, you won't, don't cut your finger, you won't cut the eye. You're staying alone the eyeball socket there? Yep, right? yep. They have that scent gland there. That's really thick. Smell like it for two years. Oh, uh, yeah. She used Hodo Ban on that. It's like a, like a, I don't know, descent deal. It was a sharpie laying on the freezer. Yeah, well, I'll write. You can just put my initials. <laughs> I live on this stuff all winter. I love antelope. I think it's pretty good. I hate this too. I think so. Pretty easy. Like a easy like a fly. deer, you know, they have that that um, yeah, lacrimal crease there. Yeah, yeah, tear duct. And these don't have they it. Don't have it. Nope. But I like a deer, I'll take a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and I'll pry around there and that'll yeah. it's one of my pet peeves is you know if you take it apart good and you know clean it up good, it uh, goes back together a lot easier. Yeah, for sure. Some of these guys skin these elk out in the you know, mountains or what, and they just chop it all to hell. And I had one come in last year from Wyoming, and the dude skinned it out. And it was down the incision was down the side. He must have had it, you know, didn't even go down the middle of his back. Mm. <laughs> I'm sewing this thing up. I'm like, what the heck? Sorry if I shoot one this year when I come back, but it's gonna be like all zigzaggedy. Yeah. <laughs> That's a unique mark on that elk you shot. Yeah. How do you guys go? Wherever we can. Wherever you can. Wherever's over the counter. And... Yeah. Levi hunted in Mexico two years ago and in 15 minutes had a monster bull on the ground. Oh, really? Like huh. Literally 15 minutes walked out. Rifle? Or bow? Bow. Bow. Do that. Yeah. Hopefully do a couple more today and tomorrow we'll see. Doesn't matter if you cut that right there. Uh, no, no, because that's so far back. Yeah, I always try to leave more. I mean, you can always cut it off when you're on it.
flies come from miles around. There you go. Where do they find you on Instagram? Uh, at Justin Jacket. J A C O T is the last name. Got it. You're not bringing me business cards? <laughs> no.